Painted innumerable times, admired by thousands of tourists, South China's limestone hills are world heritage sites. But the Guangxi hills are not just pretty facades. Recently rediscovered caves dug inside the hills have provided a treasure trove of unknown animals. 90% of them are invertebrates, living on cave floors and walls, and have never been seen before. They were discovered by an international scientific expedition funded by the World Bank and the Global Environment Facility. Headed by French scientist Professor Louis de Harving of the Paris Museum of Natural History, the group set out to map the Guangxi Caves, some of which are hundreds, if not thousands of meters long. The caves once sheltered people. After they moved out, bats and swiftlets moved in. They feed outside the caves and roost or nest inside them, dropping feces on the cave floors and walls. Those droppings and organic matter, swept into the caves by rivers, feed an extraordinary array of invertebrates that spend their entire lives living in a dank and dark world. To feel their way in the darkness, many of them have developed long antenna. Because they are useless, their eyes have become very small or have disappeared. Similarly, because markings serve no purpose in the dark, animals like these crickets and millipedes are pale. At the end of these small threads of mucus live glowworms, predatory larvae beetles which feed on small flies that fly about the caves. If there is water, some caves contain fish species that are unique to here. But now, people are threatening these creatures' existence, even before scientists have been able to catalogue or name them. Lights and footpaths that make it easier for tourists to navigate the slippery caves are disturbing this closed ecosystem. Quarrying is also causing damage. Animals that live only in caves are very sensitive to changes in humidity, temperature and to light. They have few places to go when their habitat is disturbed. Some species are only found in one small part of a cave. Damaging the cave or changing it can cause global extinction. World Bank Group policy forbids the bank from financing projects which significantly degrade or convert natural habitats unless good arguments and acceptable mitigation measures are in place. These caves clearly are an important natural habitat. The World Bank Group expects its borrowers to be aware of the dangers of a course of action that might cause extinction and to take measures to prevent that. It's easy to think that only tigers, giant pandas or golden monkeys are worth saving, but the World Bank makes no distinction between charismatic animals and cave invertebrates. They may not be very attractive, but they may hold undiscovered secrets.